The Pokemon news. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. The Charizard Ultra Premium Collection has a leaked photo. Found this photo over the weekend floating around on the internet. I'm not 100% sure that it's real or not yet, but it does look pretty convincing. The photo's a little bit low quality, so like when we zoom in on it, things get a little pixelated, so apologies that it doesn't look too great. It does seem promising though that these cards are printed in English, so that's good, but can't make out like the attacks too well, so maybe they are just copy paste from other cards. Only thing that seems a little bit weird to me, like these are fantastic Photoshop skills if it is fake, but the only thing that's kind of weird to me is that one of these is supposed to be a V-Star card, and the V-Star cards don't typically look like this, these just kind of look like alternate arts, so maybe just because it's an ultra premium collection they're doing something a little bit special, because it's Charizard, doing a little bit of something special, I don't know, time will tell. If it's true though, these arts are amazing, and like, super stoked to try to get my hands on one of these like so if you see them msrp is a 120 dollars and it'll be releasing on october 28th but before then lost origin the next pokemon card set is going to be coming out on september 9th and we have a look at all of the pre-release promos these are the promos that come in the build and battle kits there's typically four and the four that we're getting here with lost origins is finion comfy machamp and gengar's forehead I think the Machamp looks fantastic, personally, but also Gengar. You gotta love Gengar. And if you are looking to pre-order Lost Origins, GameStop did put up all of their pre-order links, so I will have those linked below for you. Right now they have the ETB 3-pack blisters, build and battle stadiums, and build and battle kits, and the new booster bundles. I'll also put links to Target because they have the Lost Origins ETBs up for pre-order, as well as the Monferno V-Box, if you're into that. And we talked about the Hisuian Electrode V-Box not too long ago, finally got pictures. It was worth the wait though, I think, because I love the little details here of the wooden, like, part of the box. I think that looks really cool. The box will cost $19.99, come with a V-card, Jumbo V-card, Holo promo, four booster packs, and a code card. Should be out on November 4th. Also, if you haven't ran over to Kohl's yet to get your Trick or Trade booster packs, they did post them up on Amazon. I unfortunately missed this one. I was in a whole training with my full-time job. But I'll put the link down below on Amazon. It does say temporarily out of stock, so you might want to refresh that periodically to see if maybe you'll catch a restock. They are the same price as Kohl's though, $18. So just be aware it is $3 over MSRP, which like, you know, three bucks. That could make or break you, I don't know. And now that the Happy Meal promos have started at McDonald's, let me know down in the comments, how many Happy Meals did you eat last week? The next wave of TCG accessories also is gonna be coming out in Japan. These are set to launch on September 2nd and will be focused on the anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, which is also celebrating its third year as a game. So there are sleeves, binders, deck boxes, card frames available for this set. Like these are some really good arts. I love the art that they use for Pokemon Masters, especially like if you're more of a fan of the trainers rather than just focusing on the specific Pokemon, they do a really great job of like really showcasing the trainers. And if you didn't watch Worlds this weekend, what are you doing? But also at Worlds, they had a ton of cool merch. So one of the cool things they had here was a special card that they were giving competitors. The promo card came in 15 different languages. And I don't know, I just love to see like the inclusion of this. I think that's super cool. And it's a nice little like special commemorative gift that you can take away from that. Like that's awesome. We'll be diving more into some Worlds memorabilia, but I want to remind you guys that this is your final week to download anything from the eShop for your Wii U or 3DS. The eShop is set to stop taking funds on August 29th, 2022. You won't be able to add money to your account, which means you can't buy anything basically, unless it's free. Once you load up your account though, hopefully before August 29th, emphasizing it, you will have until March 27th, 2023 to complete your purchases. After that, it's done. Nintendo has stated that after March 27th, 2023, you will be able to re-download games though. So anything you do purchase, you should still have ownership of. But I still would recommend get, maybe getting some SD cards, download all those games, just in case. If you don't have funds, I will put links to Amazon, where they do sell the eShop gift cards for you. Sometimes they have promos on them, right now they don't, but just in case, it's there for you. It does make me curious if Nintendo's ever going to bring the Game Boy to the Virtual Console, though. This seems like it would be like the prime time to do that. But with them still making it available to re-download and stuff after March 27th, I'm curious if they're still just going to put it off. I don't know, time will tell. It would really boost their Nintendo Switch Online memberships, I bet. This past weekend at Worlds, we did also say goodbye to Pokémon Tournament DX. It is retired, it's over. I was really hoping we'd get a, an announcement for a sequel. Didn't happen. But if you never played it before and you are a member of Nintendo Switch Online, 
you do still have time to download a free trial of the game. You have until the 24th to hop into the eShop and download a game trial of that. And after the game trial is over, if you do make the purchase, your data will carry over. One of my favorite announcements from Worlds, that Ash and Pikachu are making their way as playable characters into Pokemon Masters EX. And like, I don't know how a lot of people feel about it, but I was super stoked to see this. Pokemon Masters is also getting a new feature to the game that basically just looks like a dating sim. I might be wrong on this, but it legit looks like a dating sim. Not that I would know what that looks like. But in the trailer, it does show like little interactions with the trainers, probably leading into a more grand story with them. But kind of fun that you get to like hopefully build affinity with these trainers. And I'm not sure if that will lead to like different bonuses in battle or what that kind of looks like. But we'll know very soon. Pokemon Unite is also getting a new arena. Finally, this one is titled Thea Sky Ruins. I think I'm saying that right. At the center of the arena, we are featuring Rayquaza, and I'm curious if there will be any like weather effects added to the map and if or how they will affect battle itself. There are new wild Pokemon as well to defeat on the map, and either way, even if the layout is very similar to the original map, I'm really just stoked to see something new for the game, you know, just visually something new. Also, Pokemon Go players, if you subscribe to Verizon, go into the My Verizon app, there's a free bundle for you. The bundle includes two premium raid passes, two lucky eggs, one incense, and ten pokeballs. And like for technically free, that's really good. And now we'll jump into the collectibles. And technically free, at least was included with your ticket to Worlds as a competitor. Competitors got this rad little care package. They usually come in a sweet backpack and they give you all sorts of cool stuff. So there was the backpack, obviously, but there was also stuff like lanyards, a playmat, a plush, there was a Nintendo Switch case, a shirt. Like, you got loaded up with all sorts of cool stuff in this backpack. One day, maybe, we'll see. Maybe I really want to be a competitor. This would be really cool to do. Worlds also had its own Pokemon Center pop-up shop there, exclusive to the London venue. There was all sorts of exclusive items there, all with the Worlds 2022 theming to it, where I also recently learned, thanks to people commenting down below, that this outfit that Pikachu is wearing, it's called a Beef Eater outfit. So that's kind of fun to learn. Other notable things at the venue were they had exclusive Bear Walker skateboards. I love me a Bear Walker skateboard. So I'm super jealous that they had Toxtricity, Galarian Ponyta, and Pikachu in its Beef Eater costume. Like, actually very upset that I'm not going to be able to get this Ponyta unless they, like, post it up on Pokemon Center. Oh, I hope they do. The English Pokemon Center, though, did post a lot of sitting cuties, all kind of focused on the Hoenn region. So I'm a big fan of these plushies. I have a lot of them and uh, I need to pick up some more. I've been trying to hold out for the special delivery Charizard code. I, maybe I deleted it. I don't know. I hope I didn't. But these are really affordable, really easy to pick up, and they don't take up a lot of space. But beware, if you're loading up a bunch of them, they add up very quickly. And if you're in the market for leggings, you can also pick up some Pokemon themed leggings on the shop. I have no idea if these are good, bad, I don't know, but they look pretty cool. And they're like a decent price, so if you're in the market for those, they're up there as well. And the English Pokemon Center also has some new pins. So first, we've got this Gigantamax Snorlax. This is a giant pin, so the pin measures four inches high and five and a half inches wide. So this is definitely a big boy. You're going to need some reinforcement wherever you're pinning that. On the smaller side, though, we do have this three-pack of Piyuku Muku, Pinkurchin, and Snom. And I never really realized how similar all three of these Pokemon are until this pin collection. Omocat is also back with Pokemon Center, giving us these new sweatshirts. These are crew neck sweatshirts that are focused on various types of Pokemon, similar to the jerseys they did not too long ago. We've got Dark, Grass, Ice, Electric, Fairy, and Normal, all available right now. I do kind of wish they made these products for like all of the types. So I'd love to see stuff for like fire, flying, like, I don't know. That's just me. There was a lot of supposed Jazzware leaks over the past week. I would like to see some product images before I really release a lot of stuff, but supposedly there are some cool Jazzwares like collections coming out, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted as soon as I actually get some images for those. But in the meantime, we've got this deluxe Charizard and Pikachu figure. This is up on Amazon finally, and Charizard is able to shoot fire bolts out of his mouth, and then the Pikachu is able to like springboard out of that, it looks like. So if you want to pick that up, I'll have that linked down below for you. Also up on Amazon is this eight figure pack. It does run 35 bucks, but I mean, it's eight figures, so really not too bad. And it's a decent selection of Pokemon. So like, it's kind of win-win. And as usual, I have links for those products as well as most of the things that we talk about. As long as we can pre-order it, I'll have it down below for you. Jazzwares will also be coming with a six figure pack. This one just says that it's coming soon. So that's all I really know. So once I see it on like Target or whatever, I'll make sure to like let you guys know. But if you do see it on, on shelves, 
comment below. Let me know where you find it. And if you were able to get yourself a metallic Charmander Funko Pop from FYE, heads up, there was a shipping error. I got mine and uh, there's no sticker. It should be right there. There's no sticker there. So they sent out emails to everybody letting them know that there was an error. I did hit up support and they let me know that they'll be shipping me some stickers. So I guess that's kind of cool, you know, I just, but it's kind of weird putting it on yourself. It's a lot of pressure, you know, like these are collectible items. I don't know, it feels weird. Over in Japan, we've got a whole bunch of little accessories that you can pin to your clothes or your bags. We've got these gold pins, comes in three different variations and they're just like regular pins you can put on your jacket, your bag, like I said, kind of nice, cool little touches. There's also these Pokeball themed ones that you could use as accessories, or maybe you prefer to use keychains. So you're not punching holes into stuff, but we have, have these alphabet keychains from Pokemon. So maybe you could try to spell something. Maybe you just want to use it as like your initials. You know, you can choose whatever you want. And in the spirit of customizing, U-Treasure has some new customizable rings. They recently just came out with some engagement rings that you could customize with Pokemon. But now we have these baby rings, which apparently are a thing for babies. But it's kind of cool because you can customize it with the Mon Pokey version of the Pokemon. Mon Pokey is Pokemon's like children's line of products. So they're just like a little bit of a different style, but you can choose that Pokemon and you can choose the birthstone or whatever stone you want to put on there for your baby. I recently brought up the Dialga and Palkia Deluxe Nano Block figures. And these are over 1000 pieces. So like heads up, but we learned that these are going to be coming out January, 2023. And the Dialga is 5.7 inches tall, while the Palkia is 4.7 inches tall. Some of my favorite news here, we have a look at the new Halloween Harvest Festival Pokemon collection. This one is exclusive to Japan, but some of the stuff usually comes out on the English side. So this collection releases on September 3rd in Japan on their Pokemon Center site. So there's lots of plushies, keychains, pins, but there's also this cool Gengar light. There's also like a, a Pikachu pumpkin mug. There's a wooden statue of Calyrex. That's kind of weird, kind of cool. And um, there's also this Zorua hoodie, which I don't know, I'm into like a lot of these products. I'll also have a link down below where Mecha Japan is taking pre-orders for these, so you can scoop some of those up. We also have Series 2 in the Pokemon Trainers Keychain lines. So here we've got this whole great collection of Pokemon Trainers. It's coming out on August 27th, so this week in Japan. And like I said, great selection. And I know a lot of people have been stoked on Silver lately, so having him available in this collection, like, it's pretty cool to see. And coming out on the same day, there is a specific line of Pokemon Masters EX acrylic stands of the various trainers from the game which may or may not be exciting for you but this pori phone that thing looks way really cool i kind of want to pick that one up but there's a lot of cool little things in here again i'll link that down below for you and big update with the evolution stones I talked about this collection i feel like it was like a month or two ago there was a manufacturing error with the box collection of all the stones that's all cleared up it's live it's ready to go i'm waiting for links to pre-order that so as soon as i get that i'll update the description and i'll try to tweet that out for you guys and the Scale World figure line is continuing to scale out. We have a new Kanto collection. This one is featuring Misty as our main trainer. A little disappointed there's no Psyduck in this collection, and we just have more of the Kanto starters. I feel like that could have been a really easy swap, but I also have concerns that they have read too many pages of the Funko Pops playbook because now we're starting to get a lot of figures that are just like slightly different with like a different facial expression. I'm still gonna buy them, but I'm not happy about it. I'll be opening up a box of these very soon. And I also have a box that I opened up a while back up here on the channel if you wanna check out what those look like. It's been a crazy past week for Pokemon. I am like excited and tired at the same time because there's so much going on, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed for more updates. Take care of each other out there and I'll see you guys very soon on the next one.